So first of all, we need to download this file been given to us. So I'm going to download this uh, over here, and then I'm going to unzip this file. Unzip finance. Zip, and then I'm going to remove this file. So rm dash f r finance zip I think arm would work would have worked so okay I would now cd into this file folder and then open up application.py inside of which I can run this CSFT finance thing by using uh, I can run this server this flask server by typing in flask run then we'll get in get a url which i should open up like this and then you can see we have the uh, server running properly now the first thing that we need to do according to this spec is to download your ap key api key to do that you will go into your email uh, follow all these steps and finally there's an email verification that needs to be done after if you've done that you get your own key so we're gonna copy this and then you're gonna first of all I'm just gonna shut this down server down by using control C then I'm gonna export the API key okay so export I'm gonna say export API underscore key equals the thing that I copied right so now I have this thing done let's check whether this thing is working or not you can uh, go here where is it um let's say i go okay this is the thing right let's check whether the key works or not i'm gonna go here as you can see this will return nothing but if you put your key in okay it returns netflix and everything associated with that stock so this says this suggests that the code your api key is working so now once this is done you can run this and then the first thing you need to do is to understand everything which is what is an app.py what is in helpers.py what is in requirements of txt what is in static and what is in templates okay this, so this, according to the spec the first thing we need to do is to register to register is pretty similar to this login thing okay to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into templates go inside templates and i'm going to look at the login.html file and the entire thing is almost exactly the same so i'm going to copy this entire thing and i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to paste this in now the only th now i'm going to uh, go here and i'm going to say register and inside of templates inside of templates i'm going to say save this as register.html okay so this is once this is saved i can change a couple of things this should be register and then this should be register okay and we the method should be post fair enough because the form would actually be posted to this route if you want explanation i'll explain this a little later but mm, seems to be working this is what i should change this to register register and then there's a username field here as you can see there's a username field here there's a password field here and there's a login button over here so in your register thing you must have so we've not implemented register yet so in your register field you must have two or three things right let me just restart the server so you must have the same fields as login and register and you should also have one more field called confirmation according to this problem spec and see you have the you have uh, a text field type is name and the name is going to be username so over here you can see that the name is username the placeholder is username uh, name is password here and the placeholder is password here type is going to be password here and you need another one more field according to spec you can see there's one more field that you need which is called confirmation so I'm going to go here and I'm going to set this. I'm going to, I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to paste the exact same thing. And I'm going to change the name of this to be confirmation, confirmation, 
and the placeholder is going to be password again let's say and then type is password so that's correct so what I'm going to do now is in register Abbott route register where is it there's no Abbott route for register so we got to create that so same thing that uh, that that's, has been done with login needs to be repeated with register so I'm going to type in register here and we can change this to register as well but it doesn't matter but just to be consistent I'm going to change this to register and then I'm going to say if you've come to this method is come to this route via the post method right then you need to um, do a bunch of checks just like this right otherwise what you need to do is you will need to redirect or render this render this template so instead of login.html we're supposed to we're going to have register.html we're going to render that okay so i'm going to just pass right now i'm not going to check for you know posting uh, i'm going to check when the route is achieved through a form submission which means i'm not going to check right now for what you what happens when you post to do this route i'm going to check what happens when you essentially uh, come to this route by just clicking the link okay by the get method basically so if you've use the get method to come to this route I should just return render template which means I'm just going to render the template called register okay I'll render this template called register which is exactly the same thing almost exactly the same thing as what's happening here okay so I'm going to render register or HTML HTML save this and I'm going to run flask run flask run this and then I'm going to open up and see there's an error here why because it says existing endpoint okay problem lies okay by register and run register method so login so what happens here is when I'm going to this thing, it's definitely apology to do. Mm. Let me go over here to it says login required, right? Which means login should be required and for this route to work. So I'm just gonna take this and see what happens let's see control C and I'm going to flask run again let's see what happens if I run this it's an internal server error problem is here where it says methods equals get or post decorator existing endpoint Okay, let's see. We already have register. How many register? Okay, so we already have register over here. I'm just gonna remove that. We had duplicate routes here. So I'm gonna control C. I'm gonna control L. And I'm gonna flask runs again. Now it seems to run. Let's see if this runs or not. Okay, so we have this uh, route which redirects automatically to login if if you haven't logged in. Now. How is this happening? Well, it's happening because if you go here, if you go here, if the route is going to be empty, right? Which means you just enter the website. If you enter the website, then what should happen? If you enter the website and then login should be required, which means now you should go here and login this, this route. So you should go to this route if uh, we haven't logged in okay therefore whenever you're entering this web page this website it's redirecting to login okay and this is a helper method inside helpers.py 
this uh, sort of decorator is inside helpers.py which you can read about and learn more about that so right now what we want to do is we'll see whether the register works or not so as you can see when you click register the route change to register and you have three 